God's special message is only for you. Don't make the mistake of leaving it. God wants to solve all your problems. In the last 30 seconds, God will answer all your questions. So watch the full video. I see you, my precious one. I know every thought that crosses your mind, every worry that furrows your brow, every fear that grips your heart in the dark of night. Nothing about you is hidden from my sight. I am intimately aware of your struggles, your doubts, your moments of weakness and despair. But take heart, my child, for I declare to you this eternal truth. I am with you always, and my power to save you is limitless. The enemy may whisper lies and seek to lead you astray, but I am your mighty fortress and unshakable refuge. When negative thoughts assail you and evil seems to press in from every side, remember that you are mine. I have called you by name and claimed you as my own. No force in heaven or on earth can snatch you from my hand. Trust in me, beloved. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me. I will make your path straight and illuminate the way before you. Though the world is full of darkness, you are a child of light. My radiance dwells within you, dispelling the shadows and filling you with divine peace that surpasses all understanding. When anxious thoughts plague your mind, bring them to me. Cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you with an everlasting love. I am your good shepherd leading you beside still waters and restoring your soul. No matter how chaotic or frightening your circumstances may seem, I remain in control. Nothing takes me by surprise or overwhelms my power to protect and provide for you. Remember, my child, that your battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Yet you need not fight alone or in your own strength. I have equipped you with spiritual armor, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. Take up these mighty weapons and stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. When negative self-talk threatens to drag you down, silence those voices with the truth of who you are in me. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, created in my image with a divine purpose. I knit you together in your mother's womb and have engraved you on the palms of my hands. You are precious and honored in my sight, the apple of my eye. No mistake you have made and no sin you have committed can separate you from my love. In moments of weakness or failure, do not give in to condemnation. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. My grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in weakness. When you stumble, I am there to catch you and set you back on your feet. Your past does not define you. In me, you are a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Fill your mind with what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Meditate on my word day and night. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. As you fix your eyes on me and renew your mind according to my truth, you will be transformed from the inside out. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. I am always listening, always attentive to the cries of my children. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button, because this message took us a lot of efforts. Pour out your heart to me like water. I collect all your tears in a bottle. They are precious to me, even when you don't know how to pray. My spirit intercedes for you with groans too deep for words. Remember that I work all things together for the good of those who love me and are called according to my purpose. The trials you face are not punishment, but opportunities for growth and refinement. Just as gold is purified by fire, your faith becomes stronger and more precious as it is tested. Rejoice in your sufferings, knowing that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance,
character. And character. Hope. When you feel alone or misunderstood, know that I see you and understand you completely. Before a word is on your tongue, I know it completely. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. You are never out of my sight or beyond the reach of my love. I am near to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Do not fear the future or worry about what tomorrow may bring. I hold all your days in my hands. I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Though you may not always understand my ways, you can trust my heart. I am working behind the scenes on your behalf, orchestrating events and aligning circumstances for your ultimate good and my glory. When the accuser tries to remind you of your past, remind him of his future. Your sins and lawless acts I remember no more. They are as far as the east is from the west, buried in the depths of the sea. You stand before me clothed in the righteousness of Christ, blameless and above reproach. Nothing can reverse my declaration over you, not guilty. You are justified by faith and have peace with me through our Lord Jesus Christ. In moments of discouragement, recall my faithfulness throughout history and in your own life. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My character does not change. My promises do not fail. I who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. I am able to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine, according to my power that is at work within you. When you feel weak, remember that my strength is made perfect in weakness. My power rests on you. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is at work in you. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. Guard your heart above all else, for it is the wellspring of life. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Perfect love, my love, casts out all fear. You are secure in my hand. Nothing can separate you from my love. Feel free to share this video with up to three people. If you feel the need for God's presence, let others too bask in the divine light of our Heavenly Father. When negative thoughts threaten to overwhelm you, take them captive and replace them with my truth. Speak life over yourself and your circumstances. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Use yours to declare my promises and align your words with my will. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, building others up according to their needs. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles. I have given you the body of Christ, your brothers and sisters in the faith, to encourage, uh, support, and pray for you. Do not isolate yourself, but seek out godly community. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. When you feel tempted beyond what you can bear, call out to me. I am faithful. I will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. With the temptation, I will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. My grace is sufficient for you in every situation. Where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. Focus on the eternal, not the temporary. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Your light and momentary troubles are achieving for you an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. This world is not your home. You are citizens of heaven, eagerly awaiting a savior from there. Live in light of eternity, storing up treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy. When you feel inadequate or ill-equipped, remember that I don't call the qualified. I qualify the called. My power is made perfect in weakness. I use the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, and the weak things of the world to shame the strong. In your weakness, my strength shines all the brighter. Do not compare yourself to others or envy their blessings. I have a unique plan and purpose for your life. You are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works which I prepared in advance for you to do. 
Run with perseverance the race marked out for you, fixing your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith, when disappointments come and dreams seem to crumble. Trust that I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. What you perceive as detours or dead ends may be the very path I use to lead you to your destiny. Remember that your identity is not found in your accomplishments, possessions, or the opinions of others. Your worth is not determined by your productivity or performance. You are valuable simply because you are mine. I love you with everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Nothing you do can make me love you more and nothing you do can make me love you less. When you feel overwhelmed by the darkness in the world, be encouraged that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Even a small candle can illuminate a large room. Never underestimate the impact of your faith lived out. In seasons of waiting or apparent inactivity, trust that I am still at work. Those who wait on me will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Be still and know that I am God. In returning and rest you will be saved. In quietness and trust is your strength. When you're tempted to dwell on past mistakes or regrets, remember that in Christ. You are a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See? I am making all things new. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what my will is, my good, pleasing and perfect will. As you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing, but connected to me, the true vine, you will flourish and thrive. When you feel stuck in negative patterns or habits, take heart that I who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. You are being transformed into my image with ever-increasing glory. It is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit that lasting change occurs. Cooperate with my spirit as he produces in you love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Remember that your struggle is not unique. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. Many saints throughout history have faced similar battles and emerged victorious through my strength. You are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses cheering you on. Follow the examples of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. When anxiety threatens to consume you, cast all your anxiety on me because I care for you. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Do not let your hearts be troubled by the chaos and uncertainty in the world. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world, though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed. My unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed. I am your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. When you feel distant from me or struggle to sense my presence, know that I am near even when you cannot feel me. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even if you make your bed in the depths, I am there. If you rise on the wings of the dawn, if you settle on the far side of the sea, even there my hand will guide you. My right hand will hold you fast. Remember that your life has profound purpose and meaning. You are my ambassador, called to represent me to a broken world. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. 
as you have freely received, freely give. Be my hands and feet, spreading the aroma of Christ wherever you go. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you. When you're tempted to speak harshly or react in anger, be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Speak the truth in love, building others up according to their needs. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. When you face persecution or opposition for your faith, rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Remember that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Honor me with your body. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for my glory. Take care of the vessel I've given you, treating it with respect and nurturing it with wholesome food, adequate rest, and regular exercise. A healthy body supports a healthy mind and spirit. When you struggle with forgiveness, recall how much you have been forgiven. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ I forgave you. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Forgiveness sets you free from the poison of bitterness and resentment. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me and my peace which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer is your lifeline to me, your direct connection to the throne of grace. Never underestimate its power. When you feel inadequate as a parent, spouse, friend, or in any role, remember that my grace is sufficient for you. I chose you and appointed you to bear fruit, fruit that will last. As you abide in me and my love, I will equip you for every good work. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Where you are weak, I am strong. Remember that your struggle against sin and negative thoughts is part of your spiritual growth. Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen.